Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. I'm here with a difficult review. It's difficult because how do you review a game like this? It has changed so significantly over the years. It's um, extremely popular to this day. However, it's not nearly at its prime today. In fact, it's continually getting worse over time. So this is a difficult one to review. So it's going to be a little bit more oh, well, all over the place compared to my other reviews. But I did want to make it because I've been playing World of Warcraft quite a lot recently. If you're wondering why I've been playing it, well honestly, the, the honest to god reason is even though the price tag right here says $40 for this game card, 60 day game card, I only paid 99 cents for it. Uh, if you're wondering how I did that, uh, there's a retailer called London Drugs in Canada and I guess this item went on clearance so all 60 day game cards are 99 cents and I've gotten two of them and that, there was only two otherwise I would have gotten more. But yeah, that's the main reason why I've been playing the game recently. But, um, so, oh yeah, I should have brought out all my, uh, I should have brought out all my game boxes. I have every single expansion physical game box, and they are beautiful to look at. I actually don't know where they are, though, so I couldn't really know. I'm trying to, I don't even know where they would be, so I can't do that right now. But, yeah, so, World of Warcraft. Um, we won't just be reviewing Dragonflight, which is the current expansion. We will be reviewing all of its history and I'm going to try to make this quick. So the original plot of World of Warcraft is that uh, you are you are in a fantasy world called Azeroth which has multiple continents and the two biggest ones are Kalimdor on the west side of the world and Eastern Kingdoms obviously on the east side. Um, the There are two major factions which are brewing war against each other all the time, competing for control of the various territory territories in each of the continents. Uh, the first faction is the Alliance, which is headed by the human race, and then we also have, and they're in the capital, Stormwind. They're allied with dwarves, night elves, um, gnomes, and all of the, the friendly people, I guess. Uh, not necessarily good, just friendlier, I would say. And uh, the other faction, the one I play, so this is what my character looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm currently playing a Beastmaster Hunter called Ranier on Area 52, if you're wondering. So the Horde is the better faction, let's be real. And uh, they are headed by the Orcs, which are brutal, savage beings who did not originate on Azeroth. They actually came from... Uh, their destroyed homeworld of Draenor, and on Draenor they were corrupted with fell magic, which is why their screen is green. Green. Normally it's brown, um, but now it's turned green because of this evil fell magic. So they reside in Orgrimmar, and they're a very brutal, savage race, which have allied with the blood elves, the undead, uh, the trolls, and more than that, obviously Torin. So. But uh, so those two factions going into war, that's why it's called World of Warcraft. That's the original idea of it. Unfortunately, it's not like that anymore, but that was the original idea of it. Uh, and also, there's not just the two factions that you have to worry about. There's all sorts of sort of neutral parties, especially demons. Uh, demons invade Azeroth and they're trying to wipe out and eradicate all life, um, which occasionally makes some of the more major characters team up with each other. Um, so, yeah. So World of Warcraft, this is tough. This is a very tough review. This is honestly like the hardest review I've ever made on this channel because I don't know how to approach it. I think let's just talk about every expansion. Hopefully I don't miss any. So Vanilla WoW. Vanilla WoW was not the prime, but it was very good. Uh, it was very good because it was a grounded story with memorable characters. It was simplicity at its finest. It had a lot of the more... Um, traditional RPG elements like you had weapon skills and stuff like that. So I liked Vanilla a lot because it was very simple. There was no flying mounts. There was it was just Alliance versus Horde. Very simple. Great battlegrounds. Uh, like everything about it. The most important thing to me in Vanilla is that the world is dangerous. Uh, world of Warcraft in Vanilla was a very dangerous place. You could not just roam off the path and uh, expect to be all dandy. You're gonna die. If you ever pull like two or more enemies at the same time, you're gonna die. So it was a very dangerous world, and I like that. 
I had a lot of places to explore, things to do, and the story was actually getting me invested because the world was so cool and simple at that point. Then we have Burning Crusade. This was another great expansion uh, because this one is uh, brings you into another world, which is super important to the lore. Uh, it's important to mention that all of these locations in Warcraft already exist. It's just the expansions are letting you go to them, but they already existed. They already were talked about. The Dark Portal already existed before that. So you get to go to the Outland. Uh, pretty much just a better experience than vanilla. Just we're going up still. We're still in the close to the prime. Then we have the prime of World of Warcraft, which is Wrath of the Lich King. This had the single best story in Warcraft history with Arthas, the Lich King, um, and Northrend, which again, that content always existed, but now you're able to go to it. So, I love everything about it. This was basically Warcraft at its prime. Then we go into Cataclysm. Cataclysm was the beginning of the end. It was barren. It was like a barren drought of content. There was barely anything to do. There was The areas were super far and in between. You never want to go to that stupid water place, Vashjir, whatever it's called. Uh, the dungeons, there was not a lot of them. The raids were super terrible. Like this, uh, you know, you're literally picking at the back, the spine of Deathwing and the actual final madness of Deathwing. Absolutely hate it. Deathwing is so disappointing as a fight. So Cataclysm was absolute trash. Don't let any of the defenders tell you otherwise. It was a terrible expansion. There's basically nothing good about it at all. Uh, I guess other than the races. I think this was the one that introduced wargans, I think, and goblins. So I guess that was the one good thing, but bad expansion. Then we go into Mists of Pandaria. Lots of people hated this one. I like this one a lot. Um, this one was pretty awesome because it was something different. It was basically Kung Fu Panda. Um, but it still, to me, held the values of what Warcraft is. I mean, even the open, opening cinematic is just a Stormwind Footman versus a um, Horde Grunt. And so this is going to become a major issue going forward, turning the Horde into that, guys. But this was the first time it was done. So Garrosh Hellscream uh, turns into the Horde into the evil true Horde. And you get the Siege of Orgrimmar, which is might be my number one favorite uh, raid of all time. It's extremely fun. So Miss of Pandaria, loved it. Timeless Isle, have so many memories about that. So I like this one a lot. Uh, then we have Warlords of Draenor. Warlords of Draenor was the best for leveling, the best for cinematics and cutscenes, the best for voice acting, because it was, it was the expansion that was directly tied to the Warcraft movie. So it was a lot higher budget than normal. But it was a terrible gameplay experience because you would just sit in your garrison all day and it became a world of daily chores. You'd log in for an hour or two and you'd do your stupid little daily tasks and then you'd log out because there's nothing else to do. So this was a serious bad time for a while. Very, very bad. Uh, ver like barely any dungeons, barely any raids. I guess the one good thing that it does is um, it introduced the mythic difficulty, but this was not the con like this was not mythic plus. This was a regular mythic, so it wasn't even really worth your time. So yeah, but I do like the Black Rock uh, Foundry raid. That's good, I guess. But Warlords was bad. Then we hop into Legion. Legion is an amazing expansion because world quests are fantastic. I thought the zones were really distinguished and unique. I was into the story. For the most part, it, there was, was this, no, the Battle for Azeroth with allied races. Uh, I liked Suramar a lot personally. There's just a lot of stuff to do, reasons to explore, and this was also the one that introduced Mythic Plus, I believe. So Mythic Plus is like, Mythic Plus and World Quests are the best part of Modern WoW. Those were some ideas that were very good. The rest of Modern WoW is not the greatest. Then we hop into Battle for Azeroth, and I was just not into this one at all. It tried to be original Horde versus Alliance, but it just failed. Of course, the Horde and Alliance end up teaming up. Uh, it's just super forgettable. I didn't like this expansion at all. I have barely any, anything to say about it. I actually played it quite a bit, but I have barely anything to say about it. It was just not for me. Very forgettable. Don't like it. Um, then we have Shadowlands. And uh, at this point, the story is running thin because Shadowlands makes Sylvanas, the war chief, the new war chief of the Horde, another bad guy and another major raid boss. And now the Horde has been the major antagonist of the story for two 
expansion so far. So now we have the trope of turning the horde into bad guys even though the horde are not supposed to be bad guys. Just because orcs are a little bit meaner looking than humans doesn't mean they're supposed to be bad guys. In the lore, they're not bad people. They're not morally bad orcs. They're just trying to survive in Kalimdor. And the, the, in fact, the humans are sort of like the colonizers and the... Uh, so yeah, the, the humans are sort of like the uh, Americans in real life and then the orcs are kind of like the, the natives in real life. Although I guess the orcs came from another world entirely, but they're desperate. They're trying their best here. But at this point, Shadowlands, the story's awful. I'm completely checked out. At this point, we already have spaceships and sci-fi technology, and we just have the, the Alliance and the Horde teaming up way too much. And now we're at our current expansion, which is Dragonflight. Dragonflight is pretty meh. Um, it's over very quickly. The leveling experience is super short. Uh, dragon riding is cool, I guess, but honestly, I'd rather just use a regular mount. So, the problem with Dragonflight and the problem with current WoW is that the Alliance and Horde are no longer at war with each other. They are friends. In fact, this expansion did the weirdest thing ever. You can now be in the same guild. So, orcs and humans can be in the same guild as each other. They can do dungeon and raid content together. They're basically just best friends now. And the way Blizzard, I guess, has politically changed that they don't want to, they want everyone to be friends and they don't want to be mean and it just sucks. So Dragonflight to me was the, literally the least interesting story of all of the expansions combined up to this point. I just don't care at all. Everyone's way too passive. Uh, everything is shown to you through uh, these kind of in-game cinematics rather than like high quality cutscenes like the one on our screen right now. Um, it's these in-game engine cutscenes so instead of getting to do everything, now everything's told to you. And the Alliance and Horde are just friends. There's like no identity for them anymore. And I don't see the game changing. I mean, they have weird political decisions already. Like they changed male and female to body type one and body type two. And it's little things like that that just indicate to you the status of how things are and how things are gonna be. So there was this dumb Blizzard developer comment uh, that was about like, they don't want the Horde and Alliance to be at war with each other because it seems racist. That's, racist is, it, it's, it's a fantasy video game and it's kind of integral to Warcraft because that's sort of why everyone hates each other is because they're all prejudiced against each other because of their races. It has, it's not even remotely close. I mean, the word race in this context is completely different to real life race. We're not talking about black guy, white guy. We're talking about Worgen, Draenei, Blood Elf, Orc, and why they dislike each other. So I think World of Warcraft is going in a very odd direction and um, I'll make sure not to give them too much money. I also want to say the microtransactions have gotten pretty bad, um, but at least I like the trading post. The trading post was a good feature. So yeah, this, this review was all over the place. I totally understand that. So overall, my overall opinions of World of Warcraft is that it's it's in a bad place right now because it's way too softcore, way too casual and easy. The world is not dangerous at all. Um, some things are better. The leveling experience is a bit better now. It's very quick. Getting level 1 to 70 is like, you know, like 8 hours or less now. It used to be way longer back then. So, some things have changed. Some things are better. Some things are worse. I don't think WoW is in a fantastic position right now. I think it's kind of stagnant and way too easy, and uh, the story is just, I'm completely dropped out of the story at this point. It's its completely lost me. I don't care at all. So I'm going to give World of Warcraft a 6 out of 10. Um, yeah, just overall, in the state it is right now. Um, so the state, not necessarily Dragonflight, but again, it's a difficult review. Because Dragonflight, honestly, to me, gets like a 4 or 5 out of 10. Um, probably a 5, yeah. So Dragonflight would get a 5, whereas Wrath of Lich King would get a 10. So I'm just going to say, overall, World of Warcraft, over the last 20 plus years, just a 6 out of 10, because it's just lost its identity. Everyone's way too friendly now. The story's just bad. The game's way too casual and easy. But it is still one of the only popular MMOs on the market today, so you don't really have that much of a choice if you're an MMO gamer like me. You, you, like, you don't have that many choices. You can choose RuneScape or World of Warcraft. And
and maybe Lost Ark and maybe Albion online. There, there's a very, it's a very short market. There's no competition for WoW. That's why WoW is the way it is, is because there's no competition for it. So 6 out of 10, the game's just barely above average overall to me. And uh, I think it's going to continue to go downhill, but I would love to be proven wrong, but I highly doubt it. I think they're just going to double down on all of their changes and stances. So World of Warcraft, would not recommend playing it uh, today, but if you're like me and you've already sunk hundreds of hours into it, I don't even play like the new content anymore. I, I, like, I do like achievement farming and mount farming, you know, I, I play the game a little bit differently nowadays. It's just not worth it because at, at the end of the day, a game like RuneScape, if you get like a brand new item in RuneScape, you're going to be powerful forever. Like, you're now, you're now officially a badass forever. Two years pass, you're still a badass. In World of Warcraft, it has a one-year cycle, so if you become the most badass player by devoting your life to this game, well, all of that work is going to be for nothing because the new expansion will come out, the new item levels will increase, and all of that will be for nothing. So, I don't recommend World of Warcraft, but I do give it a 6 out of 10. So thanks so much for watching this Scatterbrain review, and I will see you next time.